Welcome back to this series on making a Pac-Man game in Scratch 3. In this video we're going to be adding a power-up sprite that is going to make Pac-Man temporarily quicker as he moves around our maze. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sprite. So I go down to my little icon here and go to paint and we're going to create, um, you can just design it however you like, I'm going to do a sort of a lightning bolt shape. So to do that I'm going to work in vector mode I'm going to grab my line tool here and I'm going to choose uh, maybe like an orangey color, set my thickness a bit a bit thicker and I'm just going to draw some lines and notice that if I, um, I've drawn my first line, if I now move my mouse to the end of that line I get a little circle and if I click and drag from there this will run as a continuous um, continuous line which I need in order to fill this shape in in a minute. So I'm going to carry on drawing my little lightning bolt shape. Okay, and now I've got my lightning bolt, so I can click and select to move that around. I can make it a bit thicker if I want to, and I can give it a fill color of like a nice sort of bright yellow. Okay, so there's my lightning bolt. It's not perfect, but because I've worked in vector mode, I could click on this tool here and I can change any of the points and I can kind of jig it around and make it better. And then I just need to make it a bit smaller and find somewhere to place it in my maze. So let's say I'm going to make it 20% the size and I'm going to put it here. Uh, but maybe just to make some space, I might actually get rid of some of these little dots. So identifying which dot that is, is not always straightforward. But if I click and move a dot, you'll see it highlights it here. So that was dot 32. So let's get rid of that one. Let's move this one around. That was dot 29. Delete. And finally this one. That was a scroll and find it, dot 60, that can go as well. So now I've just got my little bonus sprite there um, ready to be clicked on. So this bonus sprite is going to appear uh, when the game uh, begins, or at least actually it probably wants to appear at the same sort of time that all the dots appear, so with the show dots message. So let's click on it again. Ah, I've still called it sprite one. I need to call that something like uh, speed bonus. Okay, and let's add some code to this. So uh, let's say when I receive uh, show dots, because it's almost like a dot, it kind of appears when the dots appear. So I can say when I receive show dots, uh, I want to make sure it's showing. And we can also add some code to make it sort of disappear. So let's imagine the game has finished and um, we've run out of dots, but for some reason this hasn't been eaten yet. We still want it to disappear before our level complete screen. Uh, so I'm going to piggyback off the hide maze. Because if the maze has disappeared, this should disappear. So let's add uh, some more code onto our bonus. And let's just say events. Uh, when I receive uh, hide maze, then I'm going to hide that bonus sprite as well. So that's uh, pretty good. Um, that should make my power up appear and disappear. So now we also need to add some code to it to uh, see if it's touching um, Pac-Man. So I'm going to add this to my show dot. So once it's appeared, I want to start a forever loop. So it's going to be forever checking if it's touching Pac-Man. We know how to do this from our dots. So we can say forever if touching Pac-Man. So if it touches Pac-Man, we need it to hide. That's one thing. Also want to now change the speed that Pac-Man's working at. So for that, I'm going to need to create a new variable. So I'm going to create a variable, click on variables, and I'm going to do make a variable, and I'm going to call speed. That'll do, speed. Now, very, very importantly, you must make sure you've got for all sprites selected, not this sprite only, so this one here. So this is the speed variable, and I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to set speed to um, let's say we'll have to experiment but let's just try uh, well, six let's try six that's going to set a variable uh, called speed to the value six and we can use that variable to change the speed that Patman works at by going to our Patman sprite and here where we've got when green flag is clicked forever if I'm not touching the wall then move three steps forward we can change this and say move speed steps forward. Okay. Now, the thing is, when the game begins, speed hasn't got a value, so Pac-Man's not going to move. So we just need to add a little bit more code. So I'm going to add this in here before my forever loop, 
when the green flag is clicked, set speed to uh, whatever you had before. So if it was three steps, you're gonna set speed to three. If, you, if, if it was two, if it was four, you would set speed to whatever value uh, you used to use. And you'll see up here, we've got a little speed variable and that's quite useful for now because it just proves it's working. So if we just press green flag, speed is set to three and Patman moves forward quite happily. Now let's see what happens when Patman touches our little bonus sprite. He, his speed should increase uh, to six, so he's moving twice as quickly. Okay, and so speed is now six and Patman is indeed moving twice as quickly around my maze, um, which is good, that's fine. Uh, but I don't want that to last forever. I'd like that to last for only a short period of time. So let's go back to our bonus sprites and let's add um, some more code to make that speed return to what it used to be. For that, I'm just going to add a control and a wait. And you need to decide how long are you going to give Batman this uh, speed boost. You're going to do it for 10 seconds. Seems reasonable. So let's say for 10 seconds. And then we're going to set speed back to its original value. So set, oops, pop it in there. Set speed back to whatever it should be. So perhaps that's three again. So when he, when the speed bonus touches Pac-Man, it hides. Set speed to six, wait for 10 seconds, and then set speed back to three again. So Pac-Man returns to regular speed after 10 seconds. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I'm about to touch the speed bonus and my time has begun. So if I just keep moving around um, for 10 seconds, that should go back to a speed of just, there we go, back to original speed again. Now this forever loop is still running, it's still testing, am I touching Pac-Man, even though it's disappeared, which is a bit pointless. So just like with our dots, we're going to add control, grab a stop, change that to this script, and drop it in there. So if touching Pac-Man, we're gonna hide, set speed to six, wait for 10 seconds, spe set speed back to three again, and then stop the script so that we're no longer checking if we're touching Pac-Man. Just takes the load off, um, off of our computers so that they're not constantly checking for things they don't need to be. Okay, so now that we know that that works, we can just improve things slightly by hiding this speed variable because we don't need it now. So let's just go to variables and untick the box next to speed so that that's no longer appearing. And that's all you need to do to add a bonus that will make Pac-Man go temporarily faster in your game. Join me for our next video where I'm going to be showing you how to add um, an enemy ghost which will slow down Pac-Man when he touches it. So the opposite of the speed boost that we've just done.